In this video, we're going to show you how to master the most effective trading tool, which is the volume profile tool. Please hit the like button, but more importantly, hit the notifications bell so that you know exactly when new content is released. Let's dive right into it. Starting with the anchored volume profile. Volume profiles tell you how much volume occurred at a specific price level. This is key because traditional volume tools tell you how much volume was traded throughout an entire day, which isn't as useful. To access it, on the left here, under Forecasting and Measurement Tools, click Anchored Volume Profile. Then on your chart, click where you want the volume profile to be applied from, and you'll see it appear to the right. These bars here show you how much trading volume occurred at each price level. The larger the bar, the more volume was traded at that level. This red line here is the point of control, which is the level where the most trading volume occurred. So why is high trading volume important? The higher the trading volume there was at a level means the level was somewhere buyers and sellers had a lot of interest in and took big action at the level through buying and selling. This means if price comes back to these levels again in the future, buyers and sellers might have interest again in the level and take action again, which presents trade entry and exit opportunities. Like any indicator, you need to combine it with price action methods, such as using key levels. So this area here is what you're currently using to identify a trade setup. You apply your anchored volume profile here at the start of the move, meaning the volume will only be calculated on the data after your anchor point. Your red line here is your point of control, which is where the most trading volume occurred. What this tells you is that this zone here that previously had very high volume becomes of interest to you. And if price comes back to the zone, it presents long trade opportunities or an area that would be a good exit target for short traders. Now here's where the magic happens. You want to pair areas of high volume with key levels. So if you zoom out, Notice these three very key reversal points that give you a key level. And they are also in the same area of your high volume zone, making this overall zone here even higher quality. The higher the quality of the zone means the higher the possibility of price reacting to the zone if it comes back to it in the future. Now these bars here represent another high volume area. These reversal points here represent a key level. The combination of the key level and high volume area make this a high quality zone to watch for trade opportunities. You then have this large volume bar here that is also where you have multiple reversal points of price, giving you another high quality zone to watch for trade opportunities. If you want to use the exact charting platform we are using, it's linked in the description below. Now, you can also apply the volume profile tool to an entire area to help find the best key zones. Apply your anchored volume profile. Your point of control here and multiple reversal points gives you a key zone. This high volume bar here and multiple reversal points gives you another key zone. This high volume bar here and large reversal point gives you another key zone. Now let's take this up a notch and get into session volume profile. Before we continue, we want to hear from you. Tell us in the comments below right now what video topics we should cover next. As always, please hit the like button as it allows for our team to continue to produce more free videos on YouTube. Session volume profile is what you use when you are a day trader and lower time frame trader. This is the 15 minute time frame. Notice how you see multiple separate volume profiles. Each one of these represents one trading session and it auto resets once the next trading session begins. Using the session volume profile allows you to take quick in and out day trading entries. Let's now go through how to set up the session volume profile. This is the 15 minute time frame. Under indicators, type in session volume profile. Select session volume profile HD. And you'll see it appear on your charts. Again, each separate volume profile represents one trading day and trading session. Let's now go through how to actually use the session volume profile. So this here is your current trading day and session. Now what you do is you look at your previous trading session and identify the previous point of control and area where the highest volume occurred. 
The previous trading session's point of control gives you a key zone that you can use for your current trading session to identify trade opportunities if price comes back to the high volume zone. The reason trade opportunities arise at your previous trading session's point of control is because if there was high interest and high volume at the area during the previous trading session, there might be interest again if price comes back to the zone during your current trading session. So trade setup one is here, where price came back to the previous session's point of control and formed a very long wick candle and a candle color change, which presented a long trade setup. Trade setup number two is here, where price again came back to the previous session's point of control, formed an inverted long wick candle and a double bottom pattern through reacting to the recently formed support level close by to the left, which again presented a long trade setup. Now, you're probably wondering, why not use your current day or same day session volume? Because you're using lower timeframes, the volume is forming and changing in real time and faster, which can lead to a lot of fake signals and result in flaws in your trade setups. Let's show this again. This here is your current trading day and session. You look at your previous trading session and identify the previous point of control and area where the highest volume occurred. The previous trading session's point of control gives you a key zone, and you can use it for your current trading session to identify trade opportunities if price comes back to the high volume zone. Your trade setup is here, where price came back to the previous session's point of control and formed a very long wick candle. And once you had an intraday trend change confirmation, you would take a short entry. This here is your current trading day and session. You look at your previous trading session and identify the previous point of control in area where the highest volume occurred. The previous trading session's point of control gives you a key zone that you can use for your current trading session to identify trade opportunities if price comes back to the high volume zone. Your trade setup is here where price came back to the previous session's point of control and formed a very long wick candle. And once you had an intraday trend change confirmation, you would take a short entry. This point of control and high volume area gives you a key zone for your next trading session. It then presented a killer long trade setup here. Then this point of control and high volume area gives you a key zone for your next trading session. It then presented a great short trade setup here through the head and shoulders reversal pattern. Now the next trade setups we took, we used volume profile as very wide zones. You had a double bottom reversal pattern, which shows a change in market direction and gives you a long bias. This massive bullish engulfing candle gives you a bullish bias. So you want to trade with the strong moving upwards momentum. This higher high confirms the new moving uptrend. This reversal point gives you a key support level. Now your previous trading sessions point of control and high volume area gives you a wide key zone to use for your current trading session. This here was your area of confluence where you had a pullback and long wick candle form at the key support level and high volume area from the previous trading session, which presented a high quality long trade setup. Once you had an intraday trend change confirmation, you would take a long entry through the very low timeframes using our entry and exit strategy. There was also a second continuation entry here at the new support level as all the previous price action we covered acted as your trigger event and created upwards momentum for your easy long continuation entry. Let's show this again. These reversal points give you a key zone. As price comes back down, by using candle wicks, you had an imperfect double bottom pattern form at the key zone, which presented a long trade setup. Your previous day's point of control is also in the same wide area, which creates an area of confluence. Trend line placed above, and once price broke the trend line, you would look for a long entry point through the very low intraday timeframes. Now, if you want access to a ton of advanced content, that won't ever be made available on our YouTube channel, go to wisetrade.com. Don't forget to tell us in the comments below what topics you want us to cover next. Make sure to hit the like button on this video as it allows for our team to continue to produce more free videos on YouTube. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.